and what the word vex me to be say tell Kony we have data Ghana a uh, national identification we have data you see th- there is no data synchronization that is that will be the death of this country Oko is your more more data Oko every agency for every government agency <laughs> getting data. <laughs> Every government agency, Obia on the data, Jimmy San, the data. If there is anyway. no data synchronization, how, bro, this thing for be simple. If you fire somebody information through the system, if for blast everywhere, pull them out. Put me fire information. We are mouse what that could to point. No, we saw mouse what a Madina. Welcome to this episode of Y'all of the Day. My name is Koji Sheldon. The head is big for a reason. Now, this episode of Y'all of the Day is brought to you by Kameka Silver. No, <coughs> it's not Silver Trim. Silver Hair Cut. <coughs> silver Cut. Silver Cut. Yes. So right now it's cut, it's not trim. The name, the my name is Silver Cut. Why did they know use trim? It's, it's, so the trim, yeah, the blending. The blending, the yeah, blend. Be not torn with the blend. Who they who? Anyway, so yes, um, walking into any of them are shops, the locations they uh, on the flyer, then go get your hair cut. Me say I have to go cut my hair today, and since whether you like it or not, it's cut hair. You know if you tell me what to say. You know get hair, so what did you go cut? My thoughts. <laughs> well, we need to go for it. Anyway, so um, I'm here with Ace Canty. Yes, today, I mean this this particular news item has been trending, and me at the fear because you go be there or somewhere, then somebody go go do something, then you go day house now, then go come see you are under arrest. For what? We'll be we 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 like <laughs> somebody go break into your house and go see footprints on the wall and things. Then Ghana police go come see they go take pictures and they take go lap. Please let's be serious. <laughs> Why you know they trust Ghana police? It's not like I don't trust Ghana police. I don't think they have the sop- the sophisticated machines or so. Equipment. Why did they take pictures if they don't get the machines? They are just ah formalities so we normally get, we get forensic lab for Ghana forensic we have forensic, forensic lab for Ghana okay, here okay. we did they take them things mm, then they carry go there yeah. we always we, get we, results it's, some you know go get the results you know some go get, get so where's the point some some will be trapped bitches in the GDK we saw we try to call any, uh, let's be certain song they do but anyway um, there is an issue with regards to Ghana the Ghana card and how um, some of the telcos are using I don't think I don't know if it's the telcos or people that are taking advantage of a loophole. They are using um, the Ghana card to register for multiple SIM cards. Into you go fit day your house. Say oh, media my Ghana card. I have used it to register for my SIM card. Over kwane a loadi be twenty five SIM cards agusu from La Paz to Abugulushi. Everybody day top. <laughs> so it be kofi uh, aduma. Wait, he start this thing, then it'd be, it be like he enlighten people. It'd be like more people self have experienced the thing. And so, yes, it's a, the news I tell us, I said that has been trending on social media. So, it's kind to what is happening. Um, SIM registration fraud. Mm-hmm. This is from a guy who realized. He said, okay. I found out that 10 SIM cards has been registered with my Ghana card details, which does not belong to me. Nana Kweju Yebua Isiyama, a victim of the Ghana card link. Mm. A victim of the Ghana card. Mm. So he be a victim. He be Ghanaian. Mm-hmm. He realized he then take his Ghana card register like six different SIM, ten different ten, SIM yeah. card, five MTN and then five Vodafone. We oui. yeah. great, great, great. Now, now I was asking, how many SIM cards did you find out have been registered with your Ghana card details that do not belong to you? About uh, ten of them. Ten. Yeah. SIM cards and SIM cards, um, five water phones and then five MT. Two different networks, two different networks, and it was just this phone that I found out. Water phone is also having the same issue, but before today, uh, it was only uh, MTN that that was having that uh, that issue. 
So 10 SIM cards have been registered with your Ghana card detail that does not belong to you or all those SIM cards yes, don't I, belong to you. Yes, I didn't do that. I did not do that. I see. So when yeah. you went to these telcos offices, what did they tell you? I mean, um, what detail did they give you? Yeah, I, I've only went to MTN office. I'm here to go to the uh, Vodafone office. So like I was having challenges with one of my Momo uh, accounts a few weeks ago. So I called MTN customer care and then I was informed they were doing some uh, maintenance. So the issue will be resolved as soon as it is done. Since then, I've been having issues with my network. The other day, uh, my other number was having connection issues. So I went to one of their offices to check what was the cause. It was when that I found out that uh, about five numbers have been registered with my Ghana card without my knowledge. So I tried to uh, buy another SIM to register. The lady told me uh, I can't do that because I've exhausted the, the 10 number uh, uh, registration limit with my Ghana card and there were something conflicting data issues. I was surprised. I had only registered three SIMs. That is two MTN and then uh, uh, one Vodafone with my Ghana card. As at that time, that was last week, Wednesday, when I went to the uh, uh, office, their office, MTN office. So I queried them, how can my Ghana card be linked to different numbers without my knowledge? In fact, the, the three numbers, I went to the offices to do it by myself. I didn't send anyone. So I was surprised the comment that the lady made concerning that, that, that issue. So um, uh, they, they, they gave me some form to fill. I learned uh, it was a complainant form. So that was um, Thursday. And then they told me that they will call me from their main office, that is from Accra, so that they, they verify whether I am the one that uh, did that a complaint for them to delete those numbers from the system. So uh, Friday, I called them myself. And then the lady said, once they have promised to call me, I have to wait for their call until they can do something. So about five minutes later, I received a call from them. And then uh, the person that call asked whether they should still go ahead and delete those numbers. And then I gave them the go ahead. So I was supposed to go there yesterday to check uh, whether indeed they have deleted those numbers. But when I went there, there were a lot of queues. So I decided to come back home so that mm -hmm. the next day that is today, I go again. So this morning, I called their customer care to find out whether they have deleted those numbers. And then the attendant told me that they have indeed deleted those numbers. And I asked him, so how many numbers that they have in their system that are linked to my Ghana card right now? And then she told me they have three Ghana, uh, three SIM cards. But the way that the lady was, you know, talking to me, you know, uh, I, I didn't like. So I had a friend who works with MTN, one of their offices, and I called him to check whether what uh, uh, the lady told me is true or not. So uh, he called me and said, hey, Charlie, what work are you doing that, that you are using all these numbers? I was like, ah, work. How many numbers do you see there? It was then that he told me five numbers have been registered uh, with Vodafone lines, and then other five numbers have been registered with MTN. Well, he said you get only three SIM cards. So apart from interest SIM card, no cry, no, that one would be part of the yeah, 10. Yeah, you know, the part of the 10. So imagine, say, the people that have been registered on his Ghana card, using his Ghana card, one person will commit crime. We, we are seriously trying to trace the person using the Ghana card thing because that's the point. The whole point of being enrolled on the Ghana card is to, you know, get some national identification, identification synchronization. And this is a situation whereby people are even taking advantage of a loophole to use it to register just say this country there and he said they say he don't know
He was having a problem with transactions and then his mumu pin. The network know the work. Yeah. So he called MTN and they asked him to come to the office. Mm-hmm. He go first one, they say he go come. And he followed up again, mm-hmm. say the network no come. Mm-hmm. But it's okay. Check him with details. No man, I say, yeah, me and a free me who are free me who. So as them input the name, the everything, the Ghana card come, could you see my Johnson, they see you do. There's, there's, there's 10 different people with the register plus one Ghana card. So I, but wait, so I, I don't think, who, who, who? but you see, mm-hmm. me there, I always talk to you, mm-hmm. in as much as the leaders they feel we, mm-hmm. we will be problems. So. I, I, now, so we are with the talk this thing. Uh, uh, last night they tell uh, OJC, uh. then do Astro Tech for mm-hmm. Central Region, mm-hmm. like today. Yeah. Tomorrow they will come commission them. Obi will try Astro Tech, carpet, no go too fee. Yeah, I know. So it not be the government, too. Mm-hmm. it be we, yeah. we the people. Now, nah, yeah. but you see, with regards to the Ghana card and mm-hmm. the, um, yeah, um, the same re- registration thing, you see, say if they go register, then they take your. Uh, Bio data, yes. bio data, whatever in the column, then biometric data. Yes. So what is the point? So if it, uh-huh. this one will be the government. Mm-hmm. It be the person they see there, they register your SIM. So, so you show them, you mm-hmm. come to me. Mm-hmm. I want to register my SIM card. That yeah. has got nothing to do with Akufuado yeah. or the National Identification Authority. Okay. This will be the telecos inside. The mm-hmm. person will work. Oh, I want to register my SIM card. Mm-hmm. So if you come, mm-hmm. they take a picture of your Ghana card mm-hmm. down. Mm-hmm. Hey, so they will register for you. Mm-hmm. We are now called. Mm-hmm. They have your Ghana card. Mm-hmm. Then they will use it to register other SIM cards. Okay. To so be back, oh, me was SIM card. I registered that. G. Okay. Then they sell it to you. So a registered SIM card already. Okay. This one has got nothing to do with government. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if we now we get something to do with this. But if they block the loopholes, I like people no go explore. No. If the loophole someone has explored. If if you not be loophole somebody has. If be we the workers, the telecos people now mm-hmm. they do. And I'm saying a Ghana card for no a blocky mm-hmm. loopholes. If the system was effective, mm-hmm. I don't think America will be in your corner or they will be. Nah, it doesn't work like that because they have systems put effective systems. Bro, b- uh, biometrics, no, my genius, and yeah, my, this, this, uh, right now, they say if you go to bank seven, you know, if you use any other card apart from Ghana card, then what is the end game here? If people can explore loopholes, get registered, if somebody go to take one SIM card, register for 10 people, then what is the point? <laughs> 200, mi- uh, million 200 million dollars. US dollars. Na- what is the point? What is the end game here? That is what I'm saying. Says, you see, people did only uh, probably urgency. Everybody they try explore. Everybody they try exploit. You understand? So you see, you see loophole for them. No? You know the concern them. You go try use ways and means to siphon money or get money out of that situation. So it is your responsibility as the National Identification Authority or whatever no, to make sure that there are no loopholes like that. Because if there is a loophole, people was it, it is normal. You can't do anything. You see, they, they work hand in hand with the telecos. Yeah. So if the telecos we they do this thing. Because if Ghana um, NIA block the loophole, say, mm-hmm. because I want to work with uh, the telecos, I have to give them the details. What is the they have the data? So they are so what do you no listen? There is something called regulation. You understand? Yeah. You, need, you need to regulate. This is why people said say from the onset, you know, the people know they trust the Ghana cartel. Obviously, you understand because you Uber and I change, change, change. Then in the end, you no, know, then you go see say nah, that is if you know should that be effective like that? Yes. So the the National Identification Authority may say at the end of the day, this no be matter of anything. You know. If you say that we not be serious. <laughs> We are just not serious because I know I see I spend this scanner there at all. Oh, run a Ghana card and I say cooking. You don't have Ghana card. You can't pass it. You can't pass it. Meanwhile, the Ghana card now nah, say, bro. Problem is. Me say 10 people. If 10 people have been registered with your Ghana card, what is the point? point. There is no security. There is nothing. Most of most sorry, Moji biometrics. Moji a lot of things. Data that is supposed to distinct, like uh, uh, decipher you from another person. One person go sit down and take register for ten people. Yes, you go there. Somebody go go commit crime. Then they will come put it in your name. Okay. No matter to one more Ghana if, card. If Ghana they card. commit the crime, say they no go fi can catch you. The Ghana card, then just do MCU. They, then bring them linking it with your SIM card so they can track this fraudulent activity. Yes. But so the me they tell you, see, mm-hmm. they're not going to track anybody. Momo you, fraud is ah, on the rise. Somebody, this yesterday, mm-hmm. somebody say, somebody do mistake of transaction, 60,000. Mm-hmm. He called the telecoms and tell them, say, you can't use the you can't use the No, no, So why you do the Ghana card? Yeah, they tell you. you know, Nothing they work. And when I make a choice, you see, that the system is not effective. It is just formalities, vibes, and inshallah. <laughs> No, because if someone made a wrong transaction, 60,000 Ghana, 60, 60, Ghana, yeah, 60,000. Where your system be effective, bro, this is easy. You will be able to identify the person, 
It be very, it will be very, very simple because data is available. I don't know what they are using the data they are mining for. So once again, me, I'm not going to blame someone where they see some roadside, they talk, say, oh, come and register. I have registered SIM card, come and buy it. I mean, say human beings, yes, 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 but we they like that. Yeah, but at the end of the day, no, bro, what system they near from the top uh, it, to the down? Everybody go use them. Hmm. Very, very simple. So the people, me, ah, me. you won't tell me, say, if you, if you identify a loophole somewhere, where you go benefit, you know, go use them. Oh yeah, I go use them. And tomorrow, Jimmy no more better now. Show my dad is a thing. Me, the all my blame is still they go to the telecos. Cause you see, if you day house, eh, even if you need an information, mm-hmm. will be a we are with Japa mm-hmm. and then you go to police station and they ask you mm-hmm. go to the telecos and get the data of the person. Oko mo fama, but do you know the funny thing? Who mm-hmm. tifina bet we are sending message? Yes. How bet we get your number? Exactly. Who tifina MP for Madina send you message? Exactly. Who standing for SRC president was sending? They are message. selling our How did they get your details? Our number. Sometimes we feel day then some. <laughs> Some message. Ah no! How did this one get my number? And then every morning yes. somebody they send me Bible exactly. I don't know where from. They they mine the data and they sell it. Data is gold. Data is crude oil. That is what is happening. And you see, this is why I always talk. Say when people are saying, say we are not going to do this, they understand because, bro, in the era we did inside now, if you slack small, no, somebody will take your data pass somewhere. Yeah. They will contain issue. Simple. Even Facebook, big big organizations, they are having data breach and things. <laughs> so me. I say, until we have an effective system, until we sit down, block some of these loopholes, and make sure I said, bro, it be very simple. The National uh, Identification Authority, the National Communications Authority, the telcos, you, you these three agencies, are, or these three companies, or whatever, are supposed to sit, and make sure I said, all these things, you put them in a way, set you know, go make people go do some of these things. Right now, dear. Right wife. now, okay, this number, we'll be now, who said 10 people, uh, have been put on his Ghana card. What are they going to do? Uh, and one we see, and then he said, say he wanted to register another SIM card. Mm-hmm. Okay, you see, maximum be ten. Into no auto SIM card, be crunch me register. Exactly. So, so I try to uh, buy another SIM to register. The lady told me uh, I can't do that because I've exhausted the the ten number uh, uh, registration limit with my Ghana card, and there was something conflicting data issues. I was surprised. I had only registered three SIMs. That is two MTN and then uh, uh, one Vodafone with my Ghana card. As at that time, that was last week, Wednesday, when I went to the uh, uh, office, their office, MTN office. So I queried them, how can my Ghana card be linked to different numbers without my knowledge? In fact, the, the three numbers, I went to the offices to do it by myself. I didn't send anyone. So I was surprised the comment that the lady made concerning that, that, that issue. The maximum of number people they can register with your mm. Ghana card be 10. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the total SIM card. You, yeah, so the telco, you see, me. and what, the way they vex me to be say, telco no more data. Ghana, a uh, national identification one data. data. You see, th- there is no data synchronization. That is, that will be the death of this country. Oko is your more more data. Oko every agency for every government agency <laughs> getting data. <laughs> Every government agency, OPI on the data, Jimmy San, the data, if there is no data synchronization, how, bro, this thing for be simple. If you fire somebody information through the system, if for blast everywhere, pull them out, put me fire information, no way I'm on what it, that they could do, no way I'm on what it, what it, what it, Madina, no way I'm on Kwasian, some kind of the process, then Sam George says something over the week when this Ghana card issue came up. You see, as we go register Ghana card, and they tell we see, stand your house, yeah. your GPS address. Sheldon, if you like it, mm-hmm. stand your house in front, mm-hmm. GPS address, mm-hmm. generate, go figure like 10 different GPS address right now. If you stand your house and get take your phone, it won't go off here and you go figure like 10 different see, GPS So then, then, then this, they bring me back to the fact that, bro, a system, <laughs> this track is normal. 200 million dollars. And I'm a can, and you're a waste of time. <laughs> One, two. Most of the Ghana cards that are being used by citizens, including people like you, Alfred, if you registered, many Ghanaians went to do their registration in school parks and churches and things. Many of them got to the registration ground before they were asked about their Ghana Post GPS. Many of them had not generated Ghana Post GPS from their homes or from their places of work. And so you have 
people generating Ghana Post, in fact, it was a whole thing. You pay five CDs and they help you generate the Ghana Post GPS at the school park or on the premises of the church or the mosque. And so even today, if it is not a stolen identity and there's a SIM card that has been used for crime, and you actually want to trace the real owner, yes, you may have the data, but the GPS, the Ghana Post GPS location you have, when you trace it, it will take you to the school park where the registration was done, not the person's house. Because the Ghana Park system in itself is fundamentally flawed when you wanted to use the GPS system. Because there was no way to verify and authenticate the GPS location. And so you have data and in a database that is useless for crime, crime prevention. I, I'm not saying that the Ghana card thing, it'd be good thing. It'd be something where if we do one more, we do one more, it will help the country. Because, Charlie, we don't go free just to live one alive for this country like that. But you see, the amount of money spent <laughs> and the value we are getting, you know, they make sense. And to me, well, the Ghana do. card, if the Ghana card is supposed to make sure say, uh, citizens are secure when it comes to their data, and, oh, we go, it'd be a bit more tracy way. Uh, when crimes happen like that, uh, we go free tracy, we go free get information and things, and it is not happening. And people are committing crimes on the thing that have been built now. What is the point? To your near you seeker, you go feed it, then somebody go call you and London. Where you the game? What the vex me be say you they go you ask them say the sister town and I go feed care safe. No, 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 bro. Because if so, 60,000 Ghana cities, you know, if you do trace, you know, if you do anything, just a scan that shit. So, why you do that? Exactly. Why you link that? This and I make I say, you waste of everyone's time. And when people said, said they are stubborn academy, they don't go register. You will understand them. I am not encouraging it, but you see, these are some of the loopholes people set because now we can register. Now it is supposed to secure me. Now 60,000, my own mistake. Nobody say it be anything. Now, oh, yeah, France say, oh, my data need information here for tracing crop and now block here. Okay, Chen said, Nipana Koyi. We is scared. Nipana Koyi, it's who need data, who need a shit. They say the person remove the money. So no, the no, no, we're not serious. The person remove the money, go offline. So if you come online, I'll leave. We. <laughs> Hey, then you they can't force people say go are we? Hey, are we? Is they even come online? They go let them. That's the same. Do you want to online or no? I don't know. It is eight thousand. Somebody say thousand five hundred. Thousand five hundred. He just. He called the telegram and tell him to the person withdraw already. So he just called the person beg him to miss the one. But they mean half. What about me half? I mean, you see. Nah, bro. But yeah, hey. as I said, the NCA, the uh, uh, identification uh, authority, the telcos, this is the, this is their job. It is not my job to come and say. For you, for go check nah. your Ghana card. Oh me, everybody uh, for go check. Me. Even as I now say, they forget code. We you go take checks. Oh, no, me, 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 nah, you have to walk to the office and go and queue. Oba wa na yomo fe. Yomo fe. They, they, they want they, to see you. Baby, yeah. man, yeah. yes. <laughs> oh, for four bad people have come. Yes, yeah, they, yeah, today wow. we are working. <laughs> Some. No, I feel like they ah, do that just I mean, to tell people they are working. Last time the immigration something. You go for tough form, no more go away. You go to your office, bro. You can't get me free on it. And you put go on my phone. Some of the queries to be like, oh, my number. Some things you're supposed to... Oh, from here, you call MTN customer care line before. I'm going to watch some in the mistake. Please wait. Please, please wait. wait. Yeah. No more bomb mistake. I'm not going to bomb album. So, I think we go uh, this thing, the NIC, the go... Ah. Ghana card. You know, Ghana, if your Ghana card lost, mm. if you go police station, go take police reports, mm. take go the NIA. Oui. And it, it go fit take like two months. Oui. Some somebody they go NIA every day, mm. say they go do Ghana card. Oui. After now, you know do one. Oui. You go fit do Ghana card for me a day. I can't just say bass now go pay what Navrum go to call for this. This be some of the things people just be saying, nah. Ah. Where it be waste of time. <laughs> but you see, media, I would encourage people to just roll on and you see it be national exercise. And I don't I'm not I'm not saying say we want a perfect system, but at the end of the day, bro, some of these things there. If it happen, there's people <laughs> go lose hope and interest in some of these things, hmm. and you can't blame them. Mrs. Sisti Ghana said this is no good one for. Sixty thousand guys, oh, but but yeah, because now, bro, what you mean? Can't tell me that the person is offline. The only when person, it comes online, you are the dependency. Go help me get what's my money. What's the dependency? Hey, child, this is your bar online. I'm about. Do what this thing be something? Ah, oh, oh, hey, muntu kwai, muntu kwai. Ah, because ah, you. This is the guy. Last time for Twitter, a lady said she go Paris during their festival week and then for the mall inside mm. somebody mistakenly picking for which she reports with the security mm. he said within one minute 
cameras they on. Pa 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 pa. They catch the person mm. already. Try on for here. Hey, this one. Ewa. Opa bra. Ah! Opa. <laughs> Opa bra homo. Bra homo. Come home. You homo there. Bank we get cameras. Camera. Just, just talk to them. Steal your phone. You better just see you. You my training and pull us on. Nipa not the camera. Need to go new. Aha. Hey, if you want to <laughs> see, if you want talk for a year, be like some companies go vex them and can't take them you that. But you let me keep that. You let me see you. <laughs> when you sit down and say, "Who can go through all this stress?" Now, at the end of the day, no, it's me, wow. Because look, hey. Uh, <laughs>